Brian, here we are in the Strand, Absolutely. which in the early 19th century would be a bustling thoroughfare, as it is, of course, today. It is indeed. And just behind us, behind there, would have been Booksellers Row, which would have had huge numbers of booksellers and book trade personnel. And here is, as you see, Bull Inn Court. Well, I've never been here before. And your great, great, great grandfather's shop yes. would have been about here, really? according to the, the land about, tax records. It's Probably about here. about here. And how high would it be, Jack? Well, it would have been about as high as it is today. Yeah. The family would, would probably live over it. Probably a servant at the very top. And really? I think if we, if we held hands, yes, I'm just thinking we could you stretch your hand out like yes, that. Yes, that's right. That's about, the really? width, that's about the width of the shop. Gosh. Come somewhere against there. And he was here? He was right here. There would have been one door, probably. Yes. And, and a, a bow window. And his name would have been above the door. Gosh. Barnaby! Barnaby! <laughs> <laughs> Hello! I think that's probably there would have been a lot that's of a noise. Lot of that going there on. A lot of noise, a lot yes. of bustle. I mean, down there was the strap. Down there is the strap. There's monkey machines. Yes, yes. Taverns <laughs> around. <laughs> coffee, yes. coffee houses oh, really? up there because that's Maiden Lane on the way to Covent Garden. So you would have ah, yes. great bustle, great meeting Gosh. places. People would have stopped to see people, conversation, and so forth. Well, years and years I passed doing there, doing voiceovers and so forth. I never realised that my great-great-great-grandfather was located here. I'll come down here when I'm doing voiceovers and I'll go... And to his wife... Yes. <laughs> say, well done, Barnaby, well done to his wife. <laughs> I mean, how, do we know how long he was here? I mean, you know, I mean... Well, we know he was certainly here for at least three years, but we also do have some baptism records of his children. Oh, do you? Now, here we have... He's being led on again, here we go. Look. Baptism record. May the 9th, 1808, in London. Martha Atkinson, daughter of Barnabas, blessed bookbinder. But then we get this. We go again. Baptism record, 1814. Yes. Uh, Barnabas, blessed son, Barnabas Charles, was uh, baptised in St John's Chapel in the parish of Portsea. Which is now Portsmouth. Portsmouth? But what's he doing there? Well, we can only really speculate about that, but Portsmouth had been booming in this period, of course. The Napoleonic Wars, he may not have been as successful as he thought he could be here. Yes. He might have thought he could make his fortune in Portsmouth. Brave lad. A great adventure. Yeah.